Hello everybody, welcome back to more Fire Emblem. In the last episode, we did Chapter 1, uh, Footsteps of Fate, I believe, and now we're going to be moving on to Chapter 2. A small altar lies on the outskirts of Bolgar. This ancient temple, sacred to the people of Sake, has long been known for its powerful bond to the world of spirits. Before starting their journey, our travelers come here to pray for their well-being. At this altar, Elaine's hand is directed to, the gr to a great inheritance. Chapter 2, Sword of Spirits Mark, hold a moment and allow me a short detour. There is a sacred sword enshrined in the altar of the East here. An altar? Okay, I, I probably flubbed that up. I'm sorry, I just woke up. <clears throat> the people of Sakei go there to pray for safety at the onset of a long journey. Oh, how quaint! The teachings of Elime have, been the, mo have the most followers in Alib. It is nice to see that, here at least, the ancient customs are still observed. Oh, well, not anymore. Old man, stay where you are and hold your tongue. Threaten me as you will, but I'll not give up the Manikati. The Manikati is a sacred blade under divine protection. It cannot be removed from its place of rest. You're a fool, old man. What's, what good's a sword if you don't use it? Use it? In combat? Sacrilege! Sacrilege. I am glass. The gods fear my name. My sword play is peerless. And if I want the sword, then the sword I shall have. Now get out of my way. Ugh. This is it. It's more magnificent than I imagined. The sword was made for a swordsman of my skill. Huh? What's this? I can't draw the sword from its scabbard? The spirits of the blade have judged you. You have been found wanting. They have rejected you. What? Listen, you senile old fool. If you value your own life, you'll get out of my sight. Tch. Curses, miserable spirits. I care nothing for you. I'll tear this altar down stone by stone. I beg your pardon, milady. Are you headed east to the altar? Yes, we are indeed. Then you must hurry and help the priest there. I saw a band of local ruffians head in there not long ago. They seemed intent on stealing the altar's sacred sword. The Manikati? They're going to steal it? I cannot allow this to happen. You look like a virtuous group. Please help him! Lindis, what are you planning? If you hope to go to the priest's aid, you'll need to prepare. You're right. Say, Mark, there are some homes to the south of us. Perhaps we should go there and question the residents. Oh yeah, well, we can do that, but I'm not going to. Alright, so, uh, this is our first real map here. So, people are gonna die. So, one thing of note is, it's a very small map, and here we have the boss, Glass, who comes with an iron sword, and he has a vulnerary that is green. This means that, if an item is green in an enemy's inventory, this means that you will take it upon defeating them. So, anyway, uh... This is Glass. He doesn't look like anything too special, but he is a mercenary. We haven't seen those yet. Mercenaries are very powerful. Just keep that in mind. So what I want to go over is... The easiest way to do this is to break this wall right here, which will allow us easy access into the temple, and then we can just have somebody goad these bandits into attacking before we take on the boss. So I'm gonna... Oh, okay. Never mind, I guess we have to visit this home first. Okay, okay, Lynn, I got it, I got it, I got it. I don't want you to go in that home, but I don't have a choice. Yes, we're going to help the priest. She's telling us what I just said. Hit the wall. It's so oh, okay, I guess we're being forced to speak to the locals. Yeah, don't cross mountains. Horseback units can't cross mountains at all. Link could cross them, but it would take a while. So yeah, if you want to get some information, you can uh, talk to the residents. Occasionally I will be doing this because there are some important things that I want to get from doing that. But now, anyway, now to doing what I want to do. Uh, these are forts. 
These have the same effects as thrones here. They increase defense and avoid, and they can be used as a defensive outpost, outpost as they give, as they also heal HP as well. So keep that in mind. Anyway. Wow, Ken got hit? What are you doing, boy? I want to get Sane to experience because Sane was kind of the butt of the joke in the last chapter, so he didn't really get to do a whole lot, except eat shit. So as Green and Red Knights, Kane and Sane, their stats are going to grow differently. Kane's going to be more speed and skill oriented, I believe, and I think Kent's going to be more offense oriented. I could be wrong, though. But I do believe Sane is skill and speed, and Kent is more offensive. And eventually I will turn the animations off, but, you know, you can just enjoy them for now. Saying it's level up at last. Make up for the last chapter. Hey, not bad. I like seeing them get uh, resistance points. We haven't we haven't come across magic yet, and that remind that's gonna we're gonna be going over that later as well. But um, nine sixty one. Okay, I guess I have ten to attack this guy. Stop getting hit. Come on, Kent, you're better than that. This iron sword. I think they're attacking... Wow. I think they're attacking Lynn because she's technically... She technically has the lowest defense. I think it's like two or three. So the AI goes to attack whatever they think they can kill. Not whatever they can kill statistically. So keep that in mind. What is going on? <laughs> Are you okay, my guy? He's a vulnerary on him. Does he have a vulnerary? I don't think he does. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. I don't know why everybody's getting... I don't know why everybody's eating shit. <laughs> there we go. If that's what's gonna happen, that's just foreboding for the road ahead, and I don't like that. Tend to kill this guy. Oh, ooh! With the 3% crit. That's one thing I do miss about these old Fire Emblem games. The sprite animation is so clean. Alright, I'll take it. Not bad. And I kept thinking this was like Radiant Dawn. Where Radiant Dawn, I think, and Path of Radiance, where you can just move after killing an enemy. So, I'm not, I'm gonna have Lynn heal. And actually, this will be a good time for uh, Kent and Sane to be using their lances now against the boss Glass, because he, has, he uses a sword, so I want Sane to beat this guy. And another thing I actually should mention now that I think about it, if your speed surpasses another one by four, I believe? Um, let's, okay, well, I can't check now, but... I believe it's by four points. If your if one unit speed exceeds another by four, then they can double attack. Let's see, eight. We haven't seen that yet. Well, actually, we have seen that yet. We have seen that because Lynn's speed is ten because she's speedy, very speedy. So, Iron Lance. We have a distinct advantage here. Oh, he has it. Well, who do you think you are? What chance do you think you'll have against me? Oh, well, apparently seventy-five percent chance. If we want to be accurate here. I think this is the start of boss abuse, because he's gonna heal per turn, but you know what, we're not gonna sit there and just let that happen. Um, I guess I'm gonna have Lynn take a stab at him as well. She can kill him. Do I want her to kill him? Level Sane. He's only level 2. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll let Sane have this kill. Or not, because he missed. Once more with feeling. 
Go, Sane. There we go. You, you, uh, uh. Hey, not bad. Skill and speed, as I predicted. And we get a Volnari. So, now this. Seize the throne and a chapter. Ah, your clothing. Are you of the Lokra tribe? I am Lynn, the chieftain's daughter. Are you hurt, sir? Thanks to you, I am unscathed. You have my gratitude. And the sword, is it safe? Yes, I have sealed the sword safely away. Until I remove my spell, the sword could not be drawn. Now, as a token of my gratitude, I shall allow you to lay hands upon the Menikati. Touch the blade's pattern and pray for a safe journey. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> what? Did... The sword, it's glowing. Uh, it's the power of the spirits. Lin, they have looked into your soul and they call out to you. What does that mean? You are its rightful owner. You are to wield the Menikati. No, I can't. I couldn't. It is the sword's wish. If you require proof, draw it from its sheath. Um... It came out effortlessly. I never dared to hope that I might meet the wielder of the Manikati in my life. I am indeed fortunate to see your sword reach your hands. My sword? Yeah, girl, that's your sword now. It is time for you to go, Lin. You face a great many ordeals. That's a weird sentence. Grip this sword and meet your destiny head on. Yes, yes, sir. And now we have the Manikati. I will go over that at a later point, presumably in the next chapter. So this is the- wait, hold on. <clears throat> so this is the Manikati, a blade with no equals. This is all so unbelievable. Perhaps the most famous sword in all of Sake, in my hand. It's not so strange. In fact, many legends tell similar tales. Special blades all over the land call out to their proper owners. And yet, when I saw you draw that blade, Lindis, I felt something extraordinary. That sword was waiting for you. You were meant to draw it. Stop it! I- I'm nothing special! Think of it this way. Some weapons feel more comfortable in your hand, right? Well, the Menikati itself feels very comfortable with you. Does this make any any easier for you to accept? It doesn't appear that either of us can use it. It does feel right in my hand. A blade that only I can wield. That seems reasonable enough. I can understand that. Look at it, Mark. I... This is the Menikati. This is my sword. I must care for it well. Oh, I thought we were done, but apparently we're not. Castle Kaelin. What? Madeline's daughter is still alive? Uh, yes, Lord Ludrigan. The girl is traveling with Kent and Sane. What are your orders, if we let them be? Bah, I've heard that Northern Burn is full of bandits. She's just a girl. She'll not survive her journey here. I'm more concerned with my older brother. His life must be ended quickly. The poison. There must be no blunders. Yes, my lord. He suspects nothing and continues to drink it. The Marquess's death, do no doubt, to sudden illness is not far off. <laughs> Soon. Soon Kaelin will be mine. And the plot thickens. But I will see you guys next time for Chapter 3. Have a good day, everybody.